Yo guys, drops in. This is part 12 of the Happy 2 playthrough. Or chapter 12 on Twitch. Uh, chapter part 12 on YouTube. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. Big up Marty's apartment. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Hey Vito, it's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Oh man, always forget to put them clothes on, you know, Kurt. What are we gonna wear today, then, boys? Get the biker clothes on, oh yeah. See what cars I got then, because apparently all my cars burnt. I ain't got no money, have I? Jeez, boy. Give me that car, son. Up the England. Yeah. Oh, this ain't gonna be another fucking car chase mission, is it? I think it is, you know, from my memory. Unless that was GTA, wasn't it, though? Can't remember which. He was selling dope too, and he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I've talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Of course, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And and we pick up eleven grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. Mm -hmm. That's seventy-five hundred bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Yeah, that's right, Joe. Mm. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlos the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about? Jeez, that boy crap is gay, boy. Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said. The Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 100 grand. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we going to get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark. The it over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give them 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an alligator. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Dead beats and bruises. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly have them. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. 
in on that. I'm in. Ah, don't be stupid, Vito. Twenty fucking grand in one afternoon. When? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the clowns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Oh, you're taking the piss, so I need a new car as well. Christ's sake, man. Boys, look like we're walking there, boys. Go out by the side. We'll go in a taxi. Come on then, get in the car, boys. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Harry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. But if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't going to talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, Rich or something? <laughs> I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? Oh, shit. How did you yeah, when he's Tommy gun, though? He's less. Besides, we got to keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Yes, Derek, and he's dark as me. This is it. Stop here. Hey, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hey, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company? I need 35 grand and 20 dollar bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small town guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Mm-hmm. Well, little glasses, man. And 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. That's a bit steep, even for you. But these all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth mm -hmm. my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me 55000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by 10,000. Oh, good, 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 good. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 and $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, 
Remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your dad. So no funny business, okay, boy? Sure, boy. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? Take your work. That money looks shit. I hope so. Good luck, boy. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you to give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same book. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the food's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. Why? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's school. Ah, I gotta rest her soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, oh, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back. Hey, hey. What, you just figuring that out now? Waste the time, man. Bloody hell, man. seats for the boat teams. You know, I heard about a long shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. Get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. There. Drive through the gate and into the yard. Stop then, huh? right? All right, follow me, fellas. Oh, there's that call. guy at the prison. Oh, yeah, hey, kid. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Greetings, Mr. Tomasino. A bad feeling about this, boys. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wong. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Yo, Doc, this is a good thing. I think it's 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 a good thing. 
Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? <laughs> that outfit, man. Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wong. The pleasure was all mine. Oh, sorry, son. We don't do handshakes around here, boys. Knock it off. See how easy that was? Oh, must have jinxed it. Let's have a look then, boys. The hot pot's over. Gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Gonna get robbed here, boy. I know we are. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Fuck it. I set think up. you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. Nice shoes. Wait a minute. These guys ain't cops. Oh, here we go. Useless. You know, watch our back. Here comes more of them. Hold on. I got it. Jesus, Joe, man. What are you doing, kid? The boy. Christ, man, getting covered in. Right, I can't get a hit on any of them, man. Oh, I must be just jogging. Where's he gone then, Joe, lad? Let's go, 
Peace. Need to kill me to get out. Where's this last boy? See his little feet. Come on. I'm gonna have to push him and get out of cover then, kid. Bloody hell, he's like a fucking... A fashion or something, dodging all them, boy. Was this glitched or were we just getting in the car and running? Coming after us. Fuck. Lose them. Oh, shit, you're right. Big oh. oh, This one's mine. Mate, I've lost these already, man. If they catch up to me, there's something wrong with them, kid. Fuck off. The police can see me around that corner as well, man. What the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely won't be your cops. Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. Nah, I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse. Yes, that's a copyright claim, boys. Giggy. Better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? A bunch of different guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? A bunch of different guys. What did all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would have been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back... Ah, <laughs> oh, you idiot, mate. Yeah, exactly. Hey, the best you can hope for right now is to spend the next 30 years of your life breaking your ass for Eddie and Carla before you either get bumped off or end up back in the can. The only time you're ever going to see cash like this is if you stick in that cow. Besides, I ever steer you wrong. Well, there was the OPA job. And that time we almost got killed when we back that fat <laughs> on Sand Island. All right, all right, enough. None of that matters after today. Let's just get the hunters. And don't worry, we're never gonna have to see these do -do 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 -do. Unless this turns into a regular thing for us. Well, all right, let's just concentrate on getting through this one before we go making plans like that, all right? Hey, I'm just saying, Vito's right. This is a road where you need that achievement, 124 that, miles per hour. Sailing, this car ain't gonna hit it though, boys. Oh, the close callers. Ah, oh, insurance claim, is it? Oh, crap. What are you trying to kill us? What are you worried about? Here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise ass comments. All right, <laughs> Joe. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, man. Come on in. <laughs> 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 That's joking. There you go, boys. End of chapter 12. We hit I can't the let your wrist run out. No, no, no. Hey, hey, I'll hey, get you in the next one. Goodbye. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy. After we pay back Bruno and you get your cut.